Hi all and welcome back to my channel where I try to show you my opinions of things not being a professional or a blogger or a proper Instagrammer my true life experiences of the things I own and just to help you guys so today we're going back to the Super Duke KTM sorry Super Duke 1290 GT now I owned it around six seven months gonna go out for a ride on it soon I'm gonna give you some live footage from my Senna um, helmet cam um, just not massive amount just to show you a bit of acceleration stuff when I'm out um, but going out to Molden Essex for a ride with the guys this morning so uh, what's my thoughts now I've had it for for six to seven months haven't ridden it that much because of the pandemic but actually still like it I'm going to do some touring um, literally in a couple of months over the Yorkshire Dales which I hope to do a bit of coverage on and um, so um, show you more then so what have I fitted to the bike I think I've shown you four so I have fitted um, power bronze um, hand protection now if I'm honest I probably wish now I had gone for the original um, KTM parts the only reason I say that is because when you put your hand in there as you see they don't actually protect it that well from the wind however the heated grips do help out there um, I also fitted the TomTom Tom sat nav charging kit which literally as I stated before just goes into two plugs which are labeled underneath the dash the three bolts there come off the dashboard and you can just plug that in there's plenty of reviews online for that guys just to make sure you get the plug correct uh fit some tank protection just for me for grip and protecting the tank uh fitted a pyramid um extension hugger uh, a lot of reviews on them online saying that they rip off and tires catch them never had a problem with mine um I've got a video on that how to fit that if you want to watch that i've also got a video on actually how to fit the hand guards as well yeah so overall guys really happy um i'll show you when i'm out on the bike there is you know a few a few niggles um when you want to put the heated grips on you have to go through all the menus when you want to lift this up when you're riding along it's all manual but guys you can't have everything yeah right uh, and the power i think the power in the handling takes all that into consideration oh also just fitted a tank protection there as well um, i bought some panniers as i think i've covered in my other video um, i'm going to change the tires which i'll do a review i'm going to do it this has got the um tires on that it had when i bought it um gran turismos um, but i don't like them if i'm like i'm going to go to the metzler sport tech 7 rr's and yeah guys i know in the comments i've had before there's nine rrs that are better now but i'll be honest i've used the seven rrs and i loved it so i don't really need um, anything different it does what i need it's doing it does what it says on the tin so what i'm gonna do guys so i'm gonna leave it there um and i will be back on linking it to this video uh when i'm on the road and showing you what this this beast is about and what it goes like and i'm sure people that already own them know that and it's just for people that are thinking of buying one guys you, this is a good all-rounder good tourer and good for going out for a sunday blast thanks guys i'm uh, switching over now to on the road well here we go guys so on the road so as I just said, as I did the review before I got on the bike, um, I've now had this around about six months. Um, obviously, I haven't ridden it that much, but I've ridden it enough to now get a feel of what my thoughts are. And a uh, bit of a cold Sunday morning, but it's nice to get out. I've just uh, left a few of the guys that I go riding with. Uh, we've just done a trip around Essex and Molden, uh, and now on my way back home, so I thought it was an ideal opportunity to get the center camera on and give you guys an overview um, of what's going on uh, following my review before I got on the bike um, so say about six months now and what do I think yeah it's still a beast still a beast but now I understand the bike more than I did when I did my review when I first got it so give you a run through so um, see I've got my sat nav on the bike now that's very easy to connect and as I did in one of my other videos literally under the dashboard there there's two wires you just basically clip into and your sat nav's on and live there's also a uh, telephone socket or sorry telephone socket a cigarette lighter socket under there um, the bike itself massive amount of torque is unbelievable um, you don't really uh, the bike 
we're in fifth now doing 55 miles an hour and um, what you'll notice is uh, you know, the vibration come through the mirrors and the sat nav is because the engine's got so much torque it likes to be in a lower gear um, I don't really use six gear until I'm getting up to about 80 90 miles an hour it's generally the sweet spot for six gear um, just filled up with fuel literally uh, about five minutes ago uh, 190 miles um, left in the tank bearing in mind that's um, uh, on and off uh, back roads and that so if it's on a run on a motorway it'd probably come up a little bit better uh, things that are a little bit difficult when you're riding is to go through the modes uh, you have to go through the modes to do the heated grips so the heat grips are there and this time of year you still need your heated grips uh, you've got your tyre pressures there which are really it's really easy to view um, and your, your main view uh, the, the bike is a, it is a really good bike, grips the road well, it's a comfortable ride. Uh, I haven't ridden it with the panniers on yet, but I'm doing a tour up to uh, Yorkshire Dales in about two months' time, so that will test the panniers, see how much the bike reacts differently. And then I'm going to be going up to Scotland uh, in September, so I'm going to probably hope to get a few clips of that as well for you guys to see and show you how the bike goes. Um, but... As I say, it's really, really worth it. I had the Prilia Torono, as you'll see from my previous videos before this bike. And yeah, that was a beast. That was absolutely insane, isn't it? But this is just as, uh, just as insane, really. Out riding with the guys on the Ducati Multistradas, BMWs. And uh, this is this is just pulling away like, uh, like their mopeds. Uh, the torque is absolutely unbelievable. You know, so... I would recommend it guys uh, if you've got any questions that you'd like me to answer on the bike um, send me a message and I'll, I'll try and answer it I'm no expert um, but I know what I know about the bike and how I feel about riding the bike so you know I can help you out a little bit um, and a little bit of help I'm hoping my videos help you guys out a little bit just to help you when you're buying your bikes or thinking what to buy so I have noticed a lot online actually that a lot of people have gone from Toronos to the KTM Super Duke GTs but some of them have actually gone back because they've enjoyed them so much they've gone back on them uh, to the Toronos and do I miss my Torono? Yeah, I do actually do actually miss it and um, I probably would have another one if I'm honest um, but not at the moment. A lot of guys have bikes out today um, with the weather. It's uh, good weather for it. It's got a driver in front that obviously clearly doesn't know where he's going. Okay, so now this car's gone. Just get out the 30 mile hour speed limit. And then I will show you how quick the um, bike accelerates. So here we go. Let's give it... Quick shift. Uh, let's get it slowed down into the corner. You see it lean, they lean into the corners absolutely brilliantly. Massive amount of grip in there. It's not even a set of tyres that I really like, if I'm honest. I've uh, Metzler Sportec 7RR is what I've been using, and they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant for corners and stuff. But you can see how this bike goes uh, being a Tourer, more of a Tourer. It's really, really good. Good set of brakes as well. The front brake actually stabilises the rear brake slightly as well, puts the rear brake on, which is a good. Anyway, guys, I hope that gave you just a quick overview of the ride of the bike and shows you how well it goes. And um, let's say, any questions, fire away. And subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can see more of my trips during this year. Hopefully uh, get some good footage and coverage and some good scenery views for you to point back. Also give you some ideas and tips of hotels we're staying in um, to give you some help if you want to go touring as well. Okay, hope this uh, gives you a little bit of an insight, helps you out. Please subscribe, like, share um, and I'll do another video for you soon guys. Thanks for watching.